Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a plan with me and I am working on October 15 through October 21. I am majorly back planning here. It is actually almost November, but you know, sometimes life gets in the way and we'll kind of talk about that in a few minutes. I am participating today in Ryan's planner trick or treat. So, I printed this out because I wanted to just have it. This is like the little graphic that um, I believe that he created. So we are gonna be doing like a randomizer and we're gonna like challenge FDE here on how to do all the things. So the idea is, so there's three different groups and then in group one, it gives you like a list of things that you have to do in your planner. So it says pick a random number from each group, keep two out of the three if you dare. So I'm gonna do like a little randomizer because that's kind of like more of the challenge I feel like. So we are on a random number generator between one and five and I've got my pen here. I'll just circle which one I get. So in group one it's going to be um oh hold on generate number <laughs> might be helpful. Ooh number four. Ooh colorful ink. Ew okay. <laughs> All right, so that's the first one. All right, in group two, let's generate a number. Number five, oh, free for all. Okay, I like a free for all, okay, cool. All right, and generate a number four, one shop. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. All right, so colorful ink, free for all, and one shop. So I have to pick two of these. Oh, this is so difficult, y'all. This is just like so incredibly hard. All right, so I feel like free for all is just a cop out. So I think I should do the colorful ink and the one shop, but I don't know what shop to use. Like I just love so many shops, it's so hard. Okay, I think that's the whole idea of this. So anyway, oh, by the way, um, Ryan is also, I'm gonna leave his channel down below. He is also um, doing some like planner treats as well if you use the hashtag planner trick or treat to be entered. Um, so anyways, but I am kind of excited to do this even though it's kind of like scary. It's kind of scary and spooky, right guys? All right, so let me grab some things and I will be back in just a second. Okay, so I have decided what I am going to do. I'm unclear in the rules if it means one shop of everything or one shop of just stickers. So I don't know where I got these washi samples, so I'm just gonna go with I don't know. So <laughs> I'm going to use them in my spread. I know you guys are probably expecting me to either use Coffee Break Planner or Christian Designs for my shop choice, and I'm not going to do that today. I am gonna use Erin Condren stickers only, which means I've got all these little sticker books, I've got my little pouch, that's Erin Condren as well. So they just started coming out with stickers like not that long ago. So I am going to try to utilize as many of these as I can. I know that they have like washi strips, but I don't have, like there's not enough washi. Does that make sense? Like for how long I want the washies? I've got my colorful bag of pens, which I don't use that often, but um, I'm gonna pull out some of my more like autumn, October-y colored ones that I would wanna use. Okay, I think we're gonna go orange ink. All right, so I pulled out all of my orange ink and hopefully this will look all right. We'll see. We will see. The week is over anyway, right guys? So, okay, let me pull these back because I don't think I need these. All right. So I am working with, just for reference, this is a Pilot G207. I'm not a huge fan of these, but I still have them. Um, they tend to smear on me a little bit. This is like the metallic gold. I also have a Paper Mate Flare in the orange, a Jelly Roll 08, which I love Jelly Rolls. These tend to smear as well, but you gotta kinda like leave it alone for a little bit. I have a Sharpie Fine Point Permanent. And then this is one of my all-time favorites, which is the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel in an 07. I love an 07 more than an 05. I'm a, I'm a broad tip kind of gal. All right. So I am going to start this off. Wow. I feel like 
I've already spent way too much time um, <laughs> babbling on about stuff. So let's lay the washi down and then I feel like this might get easier as I go. Maybe it won't, I don't know. <laughs> and I have so much Halloween washi that I just really want to utilize as much as I can you know, during the month of October, because isn't that the whole point, is to like use what you got? But it's so freaking cute. All right, so that washi is down. We are good to go. And then I'll put in my work washi in a minute, but I wanna do some of the like stuff up front. Let's see what I can find in here. All right, so to be honest, I don't really know what's in all of these. So I'm gonna just kind of pull out the ones that I think I might use for certain things, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not really sure what I wanna use just yet, I don't know. Okay, so that was a lot of time doing this. So I think first thing I'm going to do is put in the vlogging situation, but I need to find the camera I'm looking for. I know I had a camera in here, yes I do, it's right here. Um, here, I'm gonna use since none of the stickers that I have pulled out at least are glossy, I'm gonna use my Papermate Flare and write vlog. And to be honest, some of these stickers have come from like seasonal surprise boxes that are not available anymore, or some of them um, you know, might be from certain things that they don't have anymore. I'm just not sure. So um, I'll leave a link below to the Websites so you guys can check it out for yourself, but um, you know, not everything is still available I just keep stuff because I like to use what I have and then I think the Videos should be on this I think is what my goal is so let's see here so I kind of broke up my videos with like regular content and then the vlogs so I will put these up here, so did the drunk cook with me, which was awesome. I did that with Ryan from A Man With The Plans, which is uh, the person that is doing this challenge, which is kind of fun. All right, so day 13, all right, so then work essentials I posted on Wednesday. I'm gonna put that right above here. And then my day 14 was also posted then. And then my October monthly view was posted on Thursday. Oh, I have another video I posted too. <laughs> Okie dokie. I usually like to post them at the top, but <laughs> it clearly didn't happen. <laughs> All right, so my CAD collection happened that day. And then day 15 was also posted on Friday. All right, and then a plan with me on Sunday. And then day 16 was also on Sunday. All right, cool. That works well. So let's put in some things. Uh, I'll work on that in a little bit. All right, so I've been trying to keep track of like my work because I have a flex schedule, so I kind of work whenever I work. I've been going in just at different times. It just kind of depends on when I like wake up in the morning. So this day I worked from eight to five. I'm gonna put that right there because <laughs> that's actually a work thing. And then let's see, the next day I worked from eight to 4.15. And sometimes there's just like a good stopping point within the day that I can't really start another project or so it's gonna take like another two to three hours. So sometimes I do leave a little bit earlier just because I'm gonna be there till like seven if I don't. So it just becomes a little problematic. So you just make a choice and decide, okay, do I wanna be there for another two or three hours? Um, or is that just not uh, what I wanna do? So, um, and then Wednesday, I was there at seven and I worked till 3.30. And the next day, oh, this was a long day, <laughs> eight to 5.30. And sometimes those days happen where you just gotta get it done. Fine by me, I'd rather have it done and not have to deal with it the next day, you know? 
because if it's on my desk, I'm the one that has to deal with it, not anybody else. And then I worked from home on Friday and then I had about an hour break in between and I had a doctor's appointment to go to. So I worked from seven to 4.30 that day, I remember, right? So we are good. I actually saw in this sticker book, which is new, so they still have them. Um, I saw these like appointment or meeting. Yeah, okay. So I wanted to put these in and just like put in my work because I thought these would be cute. All right, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I thought I would have enough stickers to go with my color theme and I clearly do not. But I do have, um, did I have a couple of meetings this week? No, I just had the one meeting. Okay, all right. So I had a meeting and it was from 10 to 11 and we call that a town hall meeting apparently and we just talk about um some of the stuff that's going on and all that good stuff so i'm just gonna put this up here and you know they talk about like benefits and things that are changing for 2019 and also like kind of where we're at and things like that too so that was kind of good but let me look through this and see if there's any other i don't know things I might want to use. I don't know. I feel like there's not enough of what I want to use. <laughs> That's my problem. Hmm. Okay. So let's look at some of these books and see what's up. Oh, look, I can use this. Ooh, and I can use a little bat too. Oh, sweet. Ooh, and a spider. Yes, please. All right, I'm gonna like make it extra fancy up in here. All right, I can pull that off. All right, still looking for things. <laughs> Sorry, sidetracked. I'm like, ooh, something shiny. Let's look at that. Think I figured out what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna use these ones in the gold and write in work. Pull these guys off and place them accordingly. I'm gonna kind of mix them up a little bit. I do have yellow ink, but yellow ink doesn't really show up very well, unfortunately. So, all right, let me move some things around. P.S. Ryan, if you're watching, this is like way harder than I thought it would be. Just, just FYI. Just, just letting, just letting you know, this is a lot more difficult than I ever thought it would be. All right, so I'm gonna kind of mix these up a little bit. I just don't want like the same, I don't really want the same design like next to each other. So, all right, so then there's that. And then there's that, okay. And then I was working at home that day. So I will put, and uh, actually working from home went really, really well. I was very surprised. And um, I'm actually, as I'm filming this, I am working from home on the day that this will be live and published. So that's exciting too. All right, and my friend Jamie from work had a party. Um, it was a Pampered Chef party um, on Friday. So I'm gonna write that in. And that went super late, but it was super fun. No regrets. Um, so that was really fun. And so I have these food ones and I figured I would use some of these. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm what to use. I don't know, I'll use this little like spatula because, you know, it's like a chefy thing. I'm gonna cover up this little heart though. Not that I like don't heart the pampered chef, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, so that was good. All right, and then there was someone that had purchased a lamp from me and they came and picked it up right about five-ish, which was awesome. And uh, I sold it on the Facebook Marketplace, which went well. And I'm gonna use one of these for my little budgeting. Um, what is it? Budgeting ones? I don't know. So I gotta like, everyone likes extra money, right guys? <laughs> okay, so Friday, oh no, Friday is not done. I had a doctor's appointment as well. And uh, let's see what I can find for a doctor's appointment. Urgh. Doctor's appointment, right about here. It's hard to see, but I did. And uh, here, I'll put a little, little spider on that one because it's cute, right? All right, so that works out good. 
All right, I think for when, sorry, not Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going to use this, um, or like this, so busy. I'll use that one. I had to run to a bunch of places. All right, so on Thursday, I had to run to my P.O. box. I got gas, I picked up some wine, and I also had to do some email stuff when I got home. So that was exciting. Oh, there we go. And I got a tattoo on my finger, <laughs> if you guys don't know. So I did that on Wednesday with Miss Jody. So we had a really, I don't know, I had a fun time. I don't know if she did. I think she did though. All right, so I'm gonna write tattoo. And I think it was at four o'clock. Yes. I enlisted Jody's help for some moral support as well as uh, to video me. And that is on my day 17 of my vlogging series that I'm currently in. So that was kind of fun. And then we also went out to eat after that. All right, so we went out to eat at Acapulco, which was really fun and hmm. I don't know, I'm just gonna use one of these little like dining out stickers in front of the little hashtag. Whoa, let's see, go like that. Cool, looking good. And then I went to Ulta and Cub after work. So I'll put this little guy in. I'm just gonna write these ones in. Oh, goodness. This coil, I swear. <laughs> All right. So I got that done and I edited, but YouTube was broken. So that really sucked. <laughs> the rest of my day was just editing and This Is Us, which was good. Let me put, I don't know, like a little asterisk. I don't really like this little hashtag that's right there, but again, making it work, y'all. Making it work. All right, and then I did some things on Monday. I did some searching around for my dad, so that, like, my dad isn't missing. That sounded like my dad was missing. He's not missing, he's in Florida. But he had forgotten a few things in Minnesota, so I did a little recon for him and found what he was looking for. And I also stopped at Marshall's because I needed something. I think this side is now done and we gotta do the rest of this. So, so I'm gonna use this little strip right here and kind of denote this little icky day. So this day, I had a headache all damn day, which really stuck. So, boo. Right guys, boo. All right, so I'm just gonna put in at the top here, sick. And I did have a planner event to go to, but that did not happen. So I'm not even gonna put that in because it doesn't matter anymore. So that was like a very much lazy day situation for sure. And then I did some filming and I can check these off because I filmed them, that's like, Makes my life feel so good. <laughs> All right, and then I also did some editing. So maybe I'll use this. I don't know, I'm just kind of using what I have. I don't really have too much rhyme or reason besides I'm just trying to use like oranges and yellows. Kind of more of a burnt, burnt yellows. It's kind of my, kind of my shtick at the moment. And then I did laundry, like all day. And laundry, all day. Never stops, always laundry. So guess what? I think I'm finally done. <laughs> that took a while, wow. So I completed my challenge from a man with the plans. Thank you, Ryan, for coming up with this. This was such a fun idea. This was definitely very challenging and um, you know, kind of good to get out of your comfort zone once in a while. Sometimes it's difficult for me to get out of the comfort zone, but this was actually kind of fun yet very challenging all at the same time. Again, 
Ryan's channel will be down below if y'all wanna watch. Thank you so much for the idea for this planner trick or treat. It was so much fun to do. Erin Condren's information will be down below as to her shop. And this is the planner that I use. I know I don't really say that in many videos, but this is my Erin Condren life planner. And um, it's the on the go life planner and I use the hourly layout in the colorful version. I always get the 12 month, which I do the 12 month from January through December. That's just what works for me in my brain but that's what I like. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to go follow Ryan as well as I believe that Jody over at Life's Organized Chaos is participating in this as well. So I will put her channel down below as well. I just said as well a lot. Okay, let's end this thing. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Yeah.